Hello everyone, this is Mamo. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step procedure for how to configure Windows Server 2003 cluster on VMware virtual machines. Before going through the step-by-step -step procedure, let me recollect something about clustering and what is clustering and what are the benefit of running clustering where what are the prerequisite for configuring a Windows Server 2003 cluster. The cluster is basically a group of independent computers working together as a single system to ensure that the mission critical application and resources are highly available. But the, the group of computers is uh, managed as a single system. It shares a common namespace. For example, you are configuring a, a file server. You name it as a, you have a two node uh, cluster for a file server. You name it as a file cluster so it shares a common name for that two nodes in the cluster that's why it shares a common namespace and it is specifically designed to tolerate a component failures the general concept in the clustering is that there are nodes the nodes are nothing but the servers which involved in the clusters that is which are the computers that are members of the cluster that is either in a active or uh, passive map the active nodes are nothing but a running application or a service while passive nodes are in a standby state. When there is a failure, in the event of failure, the passive node then becomes active and starts running the service and application. So you may think what are the benefits of running the cluster? I can say the two major benefit of uh, running a services uh, application in a cluster. The first is the availability, that is high available. And the second reason is to reduce the downtime which is caused by a uh, maintenance. Well, apart from that, the software and hardware maintenance time can be reduced considerably in a cluster Patching and upgrading services and application on a cluster is much easier in most cases. The maintenance can be done on a passive node without impacting the service and application running on the cluster. The active node can continue to run the maintenance of passive node. There are some other known applications which are by default it is cluster aware. Uh, some of the windows application or services or file services, print services, DSCP servers, Win server, DFS distributed file sharing and Microsoft Exchange server, Microsoft SQL server. These are the well-known applications which are already a cluster aware. So in our scenario uh, today I have a two uh, Windows Server 2003 virtual machines I have installed Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition on the both the machines and uh, uh, let's look at the cluster configuration from the VMware side. So what are the prerequisites and what are the different types and different modes of clustering available from the VMware uh, virtual side. So uh, basically uh, there are documents which are available from the VMware website you can uh, go to the www.vmware.com slash support slash pubs so you will be able to access the documents which is something related to the failure clustering on VMware virtual machines where what are the there are different type of cluster in the VMware point of view which is something like clustering a virtual machine on a single host it is called a cluster in a box it is like the virtual uh, let's consider we have a two node Windows Server 2003 cluster the cluster in a box is nothing but running the two nodes on a same ESX host that is referred to as a cluster in a box. The other type is cluster across a box is 
running a two node Windows Server 2003 and two different ESX servers. So what is the difference between uh, the cluster across a box and cluster in a box is the cluster in a box is it is it product the failure at the operating system and application level but it doesn't product against a hardware failure but the cluster across a box will protect the application from the even uh, in the hardware failures well from the VMware point of view here a typical clustering setup includes the two major components which are a disk, a shared disk and a network well the disk are shared between the nodes a shared disk is required as a quorum disk the quorum disk is nothing but the cluster the cluster nodes will save the cluster configuration on a shared disk which is called as a quorum disk and uh, at least we need a two uh, net NIC car a two different network one which is used for public access to access the application which is running on the cluster the another one is called private network it is also called as a heartbeat network which is used to attest the a connection which is something called a heartbeat the each node will send it to the another node to check whether the the node is alive or dead one of the node will send a a packet a heartbeat message hey now are you available it says yeah and there so by that it it used to check the health of the nodes in the cluster so in our example today we are going to configure a cluster across a box setup so I have a two ESX server that is ESX test 1 and ESX test 2 and I have a two virtual machines which is I have already installed Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition on this two virtual machines so let's power on the VM uh, before that I want to show you the settings so in the ESX server I have a shared the requirement for cluster across the box let's review the requirements these are the requirements for a clustering a virtual machine across a physical host is is something called cluster across boxes which protects the software failures and hardware failures on a physical machine by placing the cluster node on separate ESX host and the two virtual machines which are part of this cluster on two different physical ESX server that is ESX1 and ESX2 the virtual machine share a private network connection for private heartbeat and public network connection and each virtual machine is connected to the shared storage which must be a same or iSCSI here I have a shared storage iSCSI shared target that is called ESX storage one these two virtual machines are stored in the same storage that is a shared storage called ESX storage one and uh, let's visit the network configuration of my both ESX servers so I have a, a similar setup on the both ESX server I have a 4 NIC cards on all my ESX servers so I have created a 3 virtual switches where the switch vSwitch 0 and vSwitch 2 is configured with service console and VM kernel network that is uh, using for uh, that is utilizing the vMotion and fault tolerance and also the management network apart from that I have a virtual switch 1 which is used for a virtual machine communication that is a load balanced 
and written in we have two nicks assigned to this vm nick 1 and vm nick 2 and i have a two different virtual machine port group uh, the vm192.168.0 subnet which is used for a public access of the virtual machines and 10.0.0 subnet which is used as a private network uh, that is uh, the heartbeat network for the cluster nodes so this is my vm so my vm is connected to the two different i have a two nick cards the first nick is connected to the public network that is 192.168 that is for public access and nick 2 is configured with uh, a 10.0.0 subnet that is for a heartbeat network I have the same similar network configuration setup on my ESX2 also and the node 2 virtual machine is also connected the same uh, network I have a two NICs and connected to the same network let's check the step by step procedure in my next other uh, part 2 video thank you very much I hope this is informative for you thank you very much